I am starting off this vlog by heading to the gym. It is upper body day. I kind of wish I was doing legs today because I, to be honest, haven't gotten to the gym very much this week. So I'm feeling like it's time to do legs again, but it's really time to do upper body. Anyway, it's a beautiful day outside. It's super sunny and it's going to be a really fun vlogmas day three because I'm heading to Food 52's test kitchen later today with my co-workers for a holiday shopping market. They're going to have all this awesome food to taste and products to buy and it's all going to be probably really yummy and really like cute and I mean this is their test kitchen so this is set up for taking photos and things like that so it's a really cool space like I've seen it before and I will show you guys everything. Hey guys, so I decided to start my workout with a little bit of a different warm-up because I was just tired of only doing the Stairmaster. So I did a little hit circuit of burpees and then jump squats. And I did start on the Stairmaster, but I just felt like I needed a little bit more of a sweat. And also it was upper body day, so I thought getting some push-ups in would be a good warm-up for my arms and since I wasn't doing legs I thought it would be good to do some jump squats and it felt really good. I honestly think I might start incorporating some more hit because it really gets you going for the workout and especially on upper body days when I don't sweat as much I think it's definitely something I'm going to start to incorporate. After that, I did some smaller practice movements with this stretchy band. Always do your warm-ups, guys, seriously, especially on arm day because there's not a lot of other ways to warm up your arms rather than just doing lightweight movements. So I always do a variety of these. I knew I was going to be doing some chest, some shoulders, and biceps and things like that. So just it feels a little silly because it bounces a lot, but definitely essential. So I didn't film everything. But I included certain circuits that I really loved doing today. This one felt so good. I started with some dumbbell bicep curls and did 10 on each side. And then I supersetted that with some lateral raises, I think with 10 or 12 pounds. Yeah, 10 pounds. And this honestly, I mean, they're hitting different muscles, but together it was just a really powerful circuit. It was like... I could just feel the burn with each movement and I got a really good pump on so I thought I would incorporate this. I mean they're really basic movements and everybody knows how to do these but they were just a one killer part of my workout and I highly suggest it. So after that I moved on to a tricep movement and I think I supersetted it with another chest movement. So here I'm doing tricep pushdowns on the cable machine. These are, honestly, triceps are one of my favorite muscles to do. I did some dips today too and did them slow and paused and really got my triceps working. And so here's some uh, chest flies, I guess you would call them, on this machine. The key to this movement is let your arms go far enough back that you feel the stretch and I also like to keep my hands flat like that because it it gets the force away from like your biceps and stuff and really just keeps it on your chest. It's a really good movement, so I also highly recommend this superset. I got in the shower when I got home and I just could not even pick my arms up above my head. Like it was a really good workout today. <laughs> So I'm just in the middle of getting dressed to go to Food 52 and I wanted to tell you guys that that workout was actually so awesome. I was not in the mood to go this morning like whatsoever. It's actually been one of those weeks where I was like nearing a dark hole. <laughs> I'm applying to new jobs right now and it just got me in this place where I was like no one no one's gonna want me like I don't do anything I don't have a focus and all stuff. And, like, seriously, wrong attitude. Like, step away from those spaces. Do not fall into those kinds of attitudes. It's just not, it doesn't help get you anywhere. And it's also just self-destructive. Like, nothing you're telling yourself is really true in that sense. So, you just need to stay positive. I mean, it's okay to be in a bad mood sometimes or get upset and stuff. It's like, it's like if you're walking by the subway grates, I mean, you don't all live in New York, but it's like if you're walking by the subway grates, it's not like you have to like totally avoid them. You can still walk over them. Just like 
don't fall into them or like, don't don't look down at them you know what I mean just keep going just keep just keep going so anyway I went to the gym and it just like turned around I was just thinking that you know all these people are here and we're all just people like <laughs> there's nothing there's no reason to be so hard on yourself hard on each other like we're all just trying to do life you know so yeah it was a good turnaround this morning and I'm excited because I love hanging out with my coworkers, and this event is going to be really fun so now I'm just focusing on getting to this event because I think it's going to be really cool and you just have to this is a free event like I all I did was find Ellen Food 52 and register it was free so this is what I mean when you need to just look around you for opportunities because there's things out there and <laughs> that's what I mean just seizing the day. Does this purse like match this outfit? Maybe. Probably not. Maybe I don't care. I'm aware of this anyway. Oh my god, guys. It's so beautiful here. I'm taking your There's a lot of people shopping and everything is so beautiful. I'm seriously gonna get some gifts and this is like life inspiration times a million. The, the dishware and the bedding and they have like cold brew coffee. They just like, this is what I want my life to be. I'm gonna see if they're hiring because honestly, this is like the aesthetic is amazing and I can't wait to get my mom some gifts. So I hope that you're not listening to this mom. <laughs> but yeah, it's seriously beautiful. Does anybody else like immediately change when you get home because I am like the queen of that. <laughs> I just got back from the Food 52 shopping event and it was awesome. Like everything was so beautiful and the aesthetic was amazing. It was serious goals. Like I want my apartment or my house to look like that and when I have more money I will definitely be shopping like that. Um, I did order some things but I'm not going to say what. And I also, this was such a bonus from going there, I ended up doing some networking and I met two different girls that work there that are close to my age and they work in marketing. And we exchanged cards and I asked them if they were hiring and they said not at the moment but when the new year comes they said definitely get in contact so I will be doing that. This is what I'm talking about where just look for these opportunities. This was a free event and I was like, you know, let's go. Um, I love Food 52 and I love food and you know they have a beautiful aesthetic that I like and you just never know what can come out of it so this is what I'm saying when if you feel like if you don't if you don't feel like your day is full then there's definitely a lot of time because there's people that feel like they're busy but if they accumulate the amount of hours that they watch TV they're actually like whoa how did I have 18 hours to watch TV this week like that is a good calculation for figuring out how you're spending your time it's like do you have time because if you're watching 18 hours of TV then maybe you should be a little more proactive um, like no judgment but I just feel like I love having really busy days and feeling like there's no time because at least I know that I'm definitely working towards goals so that is a little motivation for you guys I'm going to end this video here and I hope you guys liked it let the vlogmas continue I love it um, only like two more weeks until I head home for Christmas and I'm gonna make the most of it because New York gets very festive during Christmas so stay tuned <laughs>